Hey YouTube, this is Prince from DC Programmer. I welcome back to yet another video where we are going to talk about material button and icon buttons in Flutter. So as I told you earlier, we have already learned about flat buttons and raised button. So let's move forward with material button, icon button and let's get an understanding of what they do and how they work. I have already erased all the code in the center wizard so we can finally give it a child and the child will now help us to use a material button. Now material button almost inherits all the property of the raised button but before that as usual we have to pass a parameter see on pressed so that we can pass any value or the button doesn't seem to be disabled then again we have to give a child which is going to be text in this case too I pass a string I say it as material button and then you we can style it if you want if you don't want that's okay I will give it a very simple text styling because I need it and the text style is going to be font size I'm going to set it to 20 and then I will give it a color which I'm going to set to colors dot white well save it run and you don't you may not see anything because it's completely white so I will give my material button a background color which is going to be colors dot red with uh, 400 capacity let's save it and now we have this material button again before I move forward obviously it has all the properties of the raised button such as elevation highlight elevation text color splash color and so on like if I just say splash color and say colors dot green save it and see now this will give a splash effect in green color obviously we can you know add as many properties as we want but since I've already talked about all of them in the previous video I won't waste a more time but obviously I would like to take a minute to talk about shapes which are actually interesting shapes here like you know we get multiple options to give it a shape for example this one of the most used is round rectangle border where we pass a parameter that is border radius which is a border radius dot circular let's say it's 15.0 circular so now you see that these edges a bit circular if you want to make them elect, elect, you know elliptical like circular without these you know you can see that this is a simple tangential portion that's not circular so for that we have stadium border save it we don't even need to pass any parameter and that's make that will make it bordered other options exist one is this outline input border again without any parameter this would give us an outline in black and if you want an outline in custom color we can use things like border dot all which will give us again a color option let's say i'm saying colors dot black and the next option is the wet let's say not while i'm talking about with colors dot black that's okay okay i have this from width i will say width and the width will be 5.0 let's save it and here you have you know custom border in custom color and custom width so you can have multiple you know values of shapes by either changing them by manipulating them or either by simple google search well let's move forward and talk about icon buttons because uh, they don't have everything in similar if i say something like icon button then again just as a simple button it accepts a parameter that's a on pressed parameter but here you don't have a child fine so i have an error it says icon is not equal to null it's not to find i mean i have to provide an icon that's okay now i have to provide an icon because it doesn't accept a child and this icon is going to be an icon so and an icon which will come on give which will accept an icon which is from material icons so i will say icon start and we get multiple options you can check about them uh, by you know simple google search we find all of them even here you can see a simple uh, they, they, they give us a simple preview i'm going to say something like add a photo let me save it now you get this small icon and obviously it doesn't has and it doesn't support parameter like elevation highlight elevation and so on but we do have this one parameter that's supported here which is splash color 
which is let's say it's going to be colors dot sand just save it another two parameters that you will that you should know if you're working with icon buttons is that first of all we should know about icon size i can set the size as huge as we want or as small as i want right here you see i set it to 40 and next one is this tool tip which can be a string let's say i'm saying add a photo which can be helpful if uh, you know people don't understand what this icon stand for they can simply press on it for a second and it will say add a photo and this plus effect you can see is working so that's pretty much it in this video i'll catch you up soon in the next video where we'll be talking more about flutter and you know other flutter widgets and most probably i'll be discussing stateful widgets because now it's time to actually write some code which can give us you know a wonderful output which can be shared which you can share screenshot with your friends and say that hey i'm going to i'm learning flutter i'm going doing good in it Catch up soon, catch you up soon in the next video and if you love this series make sure to let us know that we are doing good and if you have any suggestions then you can you are feel free to catch us on Facebook or on Instagram you can find our social media links in the description below